Hi everyone, welcome back to Omni Studio Sessions. In this one, we'll check how you can use Data Raptor as a data source in your flex cards. So let's just go ahead and create a flex card first. Here, I'll give some name as um, Data Raptor flex card. And that's it. Here, I mean, we can choose that data source later as well. So I'll just keep it none for now. And under setup, this is where we are where we are going to select the data raptor. So let's just go ahead and create a data raptor. Um, So I'll create a data wrapper to fetch account details, account DR, and I'm going to use this one, extract, and let's just hit on save. Here, let's just add extra step. We have to select account object, and then we have to give the output path. You can keep, uh, keep an eye on the JSON that gets created. So here I would give the node name as account itself. And in filter, uh, I'll give the name as in where, like fetch the accounts where name is not equals to blank. So I'm just giving like a very basic condition over here. All right. And then let's just set up the output as in like, you know, what are the fields that we want to fetch? So here, uh, let's just take name or let me just take ID first. So account ID and we can give a name in the node, right? So I've taken account and then whatever I'm selecting, that's what it is setting up here. And then uh, the data type would be string. All right. And then let's add one more and we'll take name. So account name. Here also we can give it as name. And again, it will be as type string. All right. So I have these two. Uh, account ID and account name. These are the only things that I'm fetching. All right. So let's just go ahead and preview this. Execute here. So you can see that I have not given any, uh, cert I mean, I've just given a plain condition over here, wherever the account name is not blank. And that is why it has fetched all the available accounts in the system. Right. So let's just first go ahead and try to use this data raptor as as a data source in the flex card. So I'll just copy this one. We'll go here. We would have to refresh this. Otherwise it won't, uh, it won't be available under data sources. So we'll go in the setup and here in the data source, I'll go ahead and select data raptor and just type this. So this is the word, right? Account DR demo. All right, and there's nothing like you know, no additional parameter because I've hard coded the value there, right? I mean, even in the condition, even in the plain condition that I've given, I've hard coded the value. So this is fine. Now, uh, let's just go ahead and do save and fetch. So here you can see name and ID. These are the only two fields that we have fetched in the data raptor, right? So it is returning us the results back. So if I click on OK, let's go back to build. And you can use fields as well, right? You know, you can... Uh, for name and ID, you can either use fields or simply you can use data table. So I'll just use data table. All right. So now uh, let's say that in the data raptor, if you have any input parameters, right? So let's say, for example, here I would give the name like and I'll pass a variable here. Okay. Let give, let's give the variable name as name itself. So what happens in such cases, if I go to preview, so this is the variable, right? Let's just copy the variable name and let's just test it out first. So I'll add a parameter, input parameter name, and let me pass something as media. All right, so execute. Now here you can see uh, based on the parameter and the like, you know, key value, whatever I have provided, it is giving me the results back, the filtered output, right? So I have two accounts with keyword as media. So it returned me two accounts. Now the same data raptor when I'm using on the flex card, I would have to 
do the same thing, right? I have to provide an input parameter and the value, correct? So I'll go back here and then let's just go to setup. And uh, okay, so in the key and value, so the key is name, right? The variable that I have defined in the data adapter. And here in the value, I have to give another parameter and you can name it as like anything like, you know, test name, anything, any variable that you want. I'm again naming it as name. So once I have this, I'll go to test parameter. I'll provide, see it, it automatically came, right? Whatever I'm giving here in the value, in the input map. So if I change it to, let's say test, it should update. It added another one. So I have to delete. So basically whatever you are adding here, right? It is creating uh, a test parameter for that key value test parameter set for that. So for example, if I have declared the value as test, so here I can pass the test parameter value. All right, so media and after that, I'll just have to do save and fetch. So you can see there are two results, right? Based on the input parameter value that we have provided. So similarly, you can add multiple uh, input parameters based on your requirement. So if you have multiple conditions, you can add all the conditions here. All you would have to do is you can uh, you would have to pass the same variable names under the input parameters here and then it will work all right so in this if we go back again right i have just given one input parameter which is the variable is name and this variable name in the input map i am giving it another name as like you know test and you all always have to uh, define it un under curly braces otherwise it won't work if i do it like this it won't work. It won't give me the results back. So if I do save and fetch, you can see this data cannot be displayed in a table, right? So there is no result for that. So that is why this has to be in curly braces. All right. And then this particular variable name that you have put in the value over here, you have to provide in test parameters and then provide the values. So that is how the filtering works. And similarly, you can keep on adding like, you know, multiple parameters based on like, you know, whatever conditions you have. So this was all about FlexCard and how you can use um, Data Raptor as a data source in FlexCard. And I hope uh, this was, uh, I, I hope you liked it and I'll see you in the next one.